Hello once again everybody, Steve Pelliquin reviewing what happened last week in Louisiana Raging Cajun Softball. The Cajuns a big doubleheader non-conference sweep of the Baylor Bears. Saturday at Lamson Park, Cajuns won the opening game by the final score of 3-1 to one, and then won the second game Mercy Rule style as they won that 12-2. to two. Uh, A big non-conference doubleheader sweep for the Cajuns because of course they're trying to solidify themselves as a regional host team. Uh, the top 16 teams in the RPI don't necessarily host uh, regionals, but you would think the Cajuns, based upon their postseason history, based upon the fact that uh, you know they're in the top 10 of at least one of the college softball polls and have been the entire season, and based upon the fact that their RPI right now is number 11, you would think that uh, they are on pace to be able to host a regional at Lamson Park at the end of the year, especially now having uh, Sweb Baylor, who came in, you know, number 13 in the country and number 30 in terms of RPI. Uh, of course, you can't rest on your laurels right now, but you would have to think that, if the Cajun, that unless the Cajuns really just collapse the rest of the way, that they will be a regional host team. But, of course, they're also searching for uh, maybe being an overall national seed, such as they were last year. And if you're a national seed, of course, you get to host the Super Regional. But good weekend for the Cajuns. They win game one. 3-1, to one. Jordan Wallace, the winning pitcher in that game, and she was outstanding. The Cajuns are going to need really all three of their pitchers, Jordan Wallace, Alex Stewart, and Christina Hamilton, to contribute the rest of the year and in regional play if they're going to be successful. Speaking of the latter two, Christina Hamilton and Jordan, uh, uh, or should I say Alex Stewart, uh, they combined to win game two. It was Stewart that actually got the victory. In that second game, as she improved to 9-0 on the year, the Cajuns down 2 to nothing going into the bottom half of the fourth inning, had a 12-run fourth inning against a very good Baylor team to go on uh, to the doubleheader sweep. So the Cajuns now 32-5 and on the season. They're back in action Wednesday evening, weather permitting at Lamson Park as they play host to the Houston Cougars, a team that... Uh, not as great this year in terms of RPI as they normally are, but still a well-coached team, a well-respected program, so you want to get that game in. And, of course, this weekend the Cajuns will travel to Boone, North Carolina to take on the Appalachian State Mountaineers in a three-game weekend non-conference series. 80% chance of rain right now on Saturday. Hopefully the rain will hold off, but it'll be a doubleheader Saturday and a single game on a Sunday, but a very big a non-conference doubleheader sweep for the uh, for the Cajuns as they defeat the Baylor Bears again by scores of three to one and twelve to two at Lamson Park. The Cajuns now thirty-two and five on the 2015 collegiate softball season. For ESPN1420.com, I'm Steve Peliquin.